Hello guys, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to grind properly and most efficiently on Anime Artifact Simulator. Like, I guess most, like most of you, I've been, I've come from Anime Fighters, um, and sadly, because it's down, uh, I've just been grinding on this game, as you can see. So, I've been playing this game for quite a while, and I've been able to get like, the best one. I haven't got all five of them, but that's fine. So, if you're just starting out, your main goal really should be just like, Go through all the levels until you reach the latest level. Or like for me currently, if you're watching uh, soon, so it's the One Piece world. So uh, what you should do is just come up here uh, and find this boss, uh, Muzan. And as soon the more damage you get with that, you can easily start killing the Muzan boss. Even if you have low damage, just keep killing him or get an auto click or something. And with an auto clicker, it becomes really, really easy. I'm currently using the OP auto clicker. And once you grind for a bit, you can easily just go get um, open a shard, and with the shards you can get more damage and keep rinse and repeating the process. That's like that's like for the simulator. I'll just buy one quickly, guys. Right? Like I just got one of the commons, and so with that, my damage would have gone up here. So this is right here, and um, I would get with a lot more money by just continuously just beating this guy. Moves on, and then from here we go into the bleach world. And, and it's the same thing, um, it's completely the same, you just see the shard over here and you keep, forget about all of these guys, all of them here, completely forget about them, go, if you want, you can do this boss in the fountain, but you can go do the big boss over there, that's really the most efficient thing, and there are also these coins here, um, they give you cash, but you don't really need to get them if you're going to be AFKing for a long time, I've um, seen a lot of people say that uh, you should I get the coins and they're really efficient and you can double jump and just get them here they give you 500 in this world anyway but I mean it's your choice really if you want to go get them but I, I don't think they're really necessary so we have this one boss here you can run on this one or you can just go to the big one over there I just personally recommend going to the big one because that I think is the most efficient it takes a lot more time but it gives you the most amount of money fastest so I would say just completely forget about all of these smaller units here and just focus on the big one over there so moving on uh you have the one piece world this is the best world to go to and from here you, from there you can basically just start grinding on the kaido boss or the akainu boss because both of them are pretty good i've grinded them both of them for a long time and they both give a lot of money so here's just the shard is twenty thousand, and all of these ones here is always and more one and that's mythical and Kaido is only got my face is over there and the marine port type everything is over there with Akainu and the boss. Like I said before, like I said before, you can completely forget about all of these guys. If you want, I think a lot of people grind on Blackbeard. I mean he's good, but I think uh, Kaido is just better and Akainu is the best because it is, gives you the most amount of money um quickly. Like if if you're talking about like a four one hours of auto grind or even like a four Night or grind like about like eight hours. He's gonna give you the most money. Currently, I'm currently seeing those, so I'd probably have to go for another one. But that's like the only way. I've got all of these. Um, basically, I've just been running money for like a mid, go up like a million or something, and just hatching the stars. What you just want to do at the end of the day is keep getting your damage up. That's the only way you're gonna progress in the game is to keep gaining damage. And basically, the, if the more damage you have, the more easier it'll be to kill the bosses and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway guys, I was just wondering, you know in Sword Town, and uh, like the big leaderboard, the 100 le uh, sword leaderboard, for like the highest damage and things, I was wondering how people have like, 100,000 damage, it's like, quite insane. Like, if you guys have any idea how people got that much of high damage, that much of a high damage, just let me know in the comments below, I'd really like to know, thanks. The main aim of this game is to get the most amount of money, therefore getting the most amount of damage, and back in the Sword Town over there, somewhere, there's basically a damage leaderboard. So, um, uh, what you just do, uh, you try to, if you see your inventory, because your first run through, you're probably not going to have every single secret, or every single mythical, or even every single legendary. Like, for me, I didn't even have all, I didn't even have an epic of the first world, or the epic of the second world, before I got here. I was just grinding. So, basically, what you just have to do is, you're aiming to get the most damage. So, once you get, like, a million from here, the One Piece area, then you just go back to like Demon Slayer, just hatch, auto hatch on that. So I've got, I've got, I've got myself one Rengoku, but like as you can see, I maxed out all of these guys. So even if it's five damage, it's five times five, or like four times, twenty damage, twenty five damage, and for him, 
it will be qu uh, quite long, like the way down. And if you get the secret, that's really good because um, I don't have any other secrets except for me because I grinded this uh, the one piece star and uh, the shard a lot. I need us 36 damage currently. Um, and that's basically it. it's a rinse and repeat, repeat process. That's why it's called a simulator. And thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Oh, <laughs>